the Sardino board are purchased online for 500 rupees and uh, it's and uh, it's a board using AVR microcontroller 8 meg 8L and uh, how to make a Arduino board by own the detail is available on the official website of Arduino for that all the detail is available including the PCB design and uh, component what we are to use and all the detail required to make an Arduino board So, I have taken this printout from the laser printer on a photo grocery sheet and uh, by using this simple board, uh, I'll make a PCB to make an Arduino board. For that, I'll take a piece out of it and uh, I'll fix, I'll give you detail just now first of all we will clean this board from soap and scrubber properly properly as it shine it will be better to make a PCB We have cleaned this board shining and then we will cut one of the shape by using scissors Okay, this board is taken out from this complete print out. Then put this shape on this PCB board to mark it for the cutting what we required actually to make the PCB and then we mark now we will draw the solid lines whether it is ok whatever we have done the marking is correct ok it is working perfectly so we will cut the shape using hexo Now we have cut this uh, PCB board in shape and now we will check whether it is ok, yeah it is fine, it is it's a clean shape. Now uh, we will iron it to make the impression on the board like a tattoo it's using we'll put it on a paper and then we'll fix these two 
using masking tape so we put it like that exactly on the board and then we will use some masking tape to fix it so while doing iron it will not move Now we will do some hot iron on it so to fix it this PCB board we will do this for 15 minutes we will take care for even pressure and temperature on the edges also so by this way the impression of the printout will be proper now it is about 15 minutes gone and we are doing the iron on the highest temperature it is about done now we will check it is too hot Lift. still is not done a bit we'll try it again Being iron we'll put this plate in the cold water for about five minutes so we will be able to remove the paper about after five minutes we will remove the sheet from the PCB gently and check that the impression of the print is to come on the board PCB board properly let's see still it will take some time I think it is not done completed it's good I think you can see the print gone on the this PCB well it's looking good we are not to use nail to remove this paper otherwise it will damage our print over the PCB gently we have to remove this all which is looking very nice
will put it you can see the impression of the printout is on the PCB now we will clean it by using ferric chloride and this all extra copper will dissolve in ferric chloride and it will be done I have taken some ferric chloride and we will add boiling water in it and make a ferric chloride solution it is very corrosive so be careful while using this mix it okay it is ready now put our board in the solution the process will start we will check after 5 minutes about how it is working meanwhile after 5 minutes we will check how the process is going on whether it is done I think still it will take few few minutes more to complete this process we are not to use our finger or hand to lift this board out of this chemical because it is harmful for skin you can use a plastic spoon etc or glass rod to get out of the solution Now it looks like that the process is complete and uh, we will take out this PCB out of this solution of ferric chloride and put it put it in a clean water and we will wash check whether it is done it looks like that it is completely ready completely done it is completely done I think now we'll remove this all print out by using some remover like nail paint remover now now after drying it will uh, remove this print out by using this nail paint we'll take some cotton we'll take some hair this uh, nail paint remover and we'll remove this print out and it will appear complete now you can see this clean and shining board to make a Arduino board very nice and clear and uh, 
now opposite to this copper site we have also printed the component diagram and uh, we have used used the same technique as we have used to make this copper site we have taken a piece from this uh, printout which we have taken on the photogrossary paper and uh, on laser printer and then we have taken out one piece because there is four piece or four piece we have taken one piece and we have put it on the PCB and then we have made iron on it and then we got this component diagram printed on the PCB exactly as earlier we have made this circuit diagram in copper side now after completion of etching process we have completed these two boards PCB boards now we'll drill the holes to put the component on I have prepared a drill at home I have taken a DC motor and I have added a PCB drill bit over there and uh, we'll use it to drill the holes of this PCB ये ले मत छोड़ा चलिए Now this board is completely ready after perforation to mount the components and uh, to make a Arduino board.